guys will be the toughest of all. They're arch rivals from Michigan. It's Michigan against Ohio State. That's all you have to say about this classic matchup. Welcome, everybody. With Gary Danielson, I'm Brent Musburger. There's no feeling like being down on the field for this game with the bands and the players and everything. You no, know, right, Brent. All week it's been hype. You know, how do you win this game? All the experts have said everything. Tackling, hold on to the football, catch the football, defense, offensive line. You know, they're all right. But being down here with these guys, I got a feeling it's going to be a wild card today. I think Maurice Claret is going to have to play to beat Michigan. And the fellas in behind us are all members of championships past here at Ohio State. The last time they have won one is 1968. Can they do it again? They'll have to get through Michigan. The kickoff is coming up next. Have to do win this game today. They will be headed for the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl. That's all? <laughs> um, first two plays, Brent. Maurice Hall misread both blocks. I think he should have took it upfield. He could have had positive yardage. He misread both of them and did not follow the blocking pattern at all. And that's why Ross has checked in here. Third down. And it's three and out on the opening series for the Buckeyes. Very almost have to call plays differently because of their lack of confidence in the field goal game. A 36-yard field goal for Finley. Michigan trying to get on the board first. Slips it through for the field goal with a band in the background. The Wolverines come to Columbus and strike first. Folks, in a big game, if it's low scoring, Scoring first can be absolutely critical. Timeout. Right here. Second down and short. Correct to the middle. Slashes free. 30. The difference maker. 20. 15. There it is. Look at the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. They know what a difference number 13 brings to this attack. That's a 29-yard burst now for Maurice Correct. Third down. Gamble comes in motion. He threw behind the receiver, but interference is called. Jenkins was running a slant. Lasseur with the cover, and the yellow comes flying. They're lining up behind the fullback. They'll show power with a pair of tight ends. Here comes Ohio State muscle. Correct for the touchdown. Can he get there? Yes. Jackson could not. Cut the freshman off. Buckeyes show blitz, and here they come. The bar is going to throw it high and out of the end zone. It is now fourth down. Carr screaming the 35 yarder. Made one from 36. He can make it a one point football game. And so Finley, who started the year as the punter and is the third field goal specialist, represents the Wolverine offense. 7-6. It's Ohio State and Michigan. Time out. And Jim Trestle says, Andy Groom, back him up. Fourth down, and Groom oh. tries to hang it high. Trying to punt for field position. Doss is going to down it inside the 10. Just let it roll dead right there. Michael Dawson. Edwards does against Gamble again to the right side of the formation. The Bucks show the nickel blitz. Navarro throws the jump ball. Two great athletes, and Edwards has got it for the touchdown as Gamble goes down on the play. Now we've got a penalty flag. Now was there offensive pushing down there, yes, Gary? That's what he's going to call. Going to call Edwards was the push-off. He was working hard to get his flag out. He could not get his flag out. Got those cold fingers. That's why there was the delay. This one will be coming back. But that's how you need to throw that football. You need to keep it in the field. You've got a tall receiver. Now they're saying, go get it. Go get it, Braylon. You can see he had his hands on his jerseys, throwed him down to the right side. Not going to get away with that one. In this stadium, got grabbed the back of his jersey. The bar will put it down. This will be a 22-yard attempt. And Finley. Puts Michigan ahead for the second time in this game. 
Doss backs off. They set the return. And Gamble. There, they didn't give him the halo. That's a 10 yards tacked on. And this will be first down. Play fake. They're going to throw on first down. Prenzel underneath it is pullback to the 42-yard line. Brandon Schnitker slips out. Schnitker intercepted the pass thrown for Jenkins. <laughs> no doubt in my mind, and Craig Grenzel was throwing the ball to Jenkins. You'll see Jenkins come right here. The fullback will be right there. Now watch, he throws downfield. He's got his eyes down there. Up, oh, nice catch, Schnitker. Right over his head for the first down. With an empty backfield, there's five receivers for Krenzel. Steps away from trouble. to that marker. He... Claret there. Krenzel behind the left side. Got the first down. Fakes the handoff. Krenzel's going to throw a first down. Got a man wide open. It's Claret. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. Maurice Claret, who is an outstanding pass receiver. That is for 25 yards to the left side of the formation but now they age back yes they'll turn Hartsock back around and they'll go to the weak side easy they're walking touchdown they ran away from the strength of the formation that time and Maurice Hall strolls into the end zone now we Navarre getting great time fumble Ball's picked up finally by the Buckeyes. Finally, the ball was rolling around. La Fatina's there. First down. Buckeyes. The Buckeyes on the game's first turnover recover the Navarre fumble. And coming out of there with the football is Will Smith. But see, Grant was in. Soda. Fourth down, and here comes the punt. Michigan coming after it, but Groom slams it out of there. Curry on one hop. Gamble can't bring him down. Reynolds is right there and he's out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. So it's about into that deal. And this would be the first appearance for the Big Ten. Navar fires and Wilhelm rides the receiver down, but they'll stop the clock with 35 seconds. And Navar steps up, fires complete again. This time to Bellamy to the 46, still alive. 45, Navar. And that time Gamble broke it up, but he interfered. So it'll be 15 more yards, and the Wolverines are edging closer and closer. A protected pocket fires diving catch they're inside the 25 yard line with another Bellamy reception at least for a first down or the end zone Navarre hit on the release does get it it's out of the end zone he was hit by Kenny Peterson fires in zone intercepted Let's party, Columbus! Their 29th Big Ten Championship, and it is huge as Maurice Claret, Jim Trussell, and the Buckeyes were ahead to Arizona where they'll play for all the Tostitos in the Fiesta Bowl on January 3rd. For the first time in history, 13-0. The Buckeyes.